Yeah, here's our car. Sweet. Paradox finally hooked me up. <laughs> oh, wait. I got to go on this side, huh, on the drive. Shit. Oh, this is going to be a yeah. nightmare. <laughs> you can do it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Good thing we were not on horseback like in the old days. One, we wouldn't have this lady telling us where to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> but the horse might know where to go. No. <laughs> <laughs> they should have a sign that says, beware, American driver on board. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gordon Van Dyke. I'm the senior producer on War of the Roses. My name is Morten Stormdahl. I'm the lead designer on War of the Roses. So what we've done was we actually took a trip to England to check out actual locations uh, and battles of, that took place in War of the Roses. We really want to find out what everything was about and use all this information and everything that we learn to make an even better game. Uh, we're also actually going to get to put on some armor and, and ride some horses and be and, and get a quick lesson from uh, people who actually still joust and, and get see how it felt to be on a mounted soldier on a on a horse feel what it felt like to wear armor and your actual mobility and swing a sword and and a lot of cool things that I you know kind of always fantasized as a kid at least I did yeah <laughs> childhood dream <laughs> cool We're beginning our journey uh, in England in St. Albans. And this is, uh, you know, for a specific reason that this is actually where the, the battles begin, the, the, the fight between the Lancasters and the York. Give us a little background information on how the Wars of the Roses kind of began, because you know a bit more about the history than I do. It is a fight between two, two houses uh, over the crown, uh, the crown of England. Uh, who's gonna be king and who's gonna rule the land. That's basically it. Uh, and it's York and Lancaster both have the claim to the crown and uh, well it goes a lot of back and forth but in the end it ends up as a civil war. So this is pretty cool. We're we're in St. Albans, and this is the clock tower. And this is a clock tower we actually have in our game. We don't see it from here, but the door <laughs> into this tower is this high. Okay. Had to scale the whole thing up to, to be able to fight on the inside. Since we're making a third person game uh, with kind of wide swings and stuff like that, you have to, all the passages need to, to be a certain width. This is spectacular. This is gonna be the best, the best trip I've probably ever taken. And best of all, it's for the game we're working on that we're both very passionate about. So this is gonna be an excellent, excellent journey for us. Awesome.